Hey, how's it going? Sebastian Cruz here, head coach of the Elite Physique Academy. Hope you're having a good day. Today, we're checking out Chef Bobby Flay, Iron Chef America, fine dining extraordinaire. And we're gonna take a look at his cinnamon bun pancakes recipe. Spoiler alert, they're not healthy. We're not gonna pretend that they are. But we wanna find out is if Bobby Flay is a calorie king and he's reasonable with his use of calories in this recipe, or if he's a calorie abuser, and he recklessly throws in calories to this with absolute reckless abandon. That's what we do here, and that's what we're about to do for Chef Bobby Flay, so let's just get right into it. Welcome back everybody. Today it's all about taking your bakery favorites, your bakery classics, and turning them on their head and creating new dishes. Now we're gonna move on to some pancakes that are gonna be inspired by your favorite cinnamon bun. So now I'm gonna start by making the cinnamon sugar swirl. We started with some brown butter and I'm gonna add about a half a cup of uh, dark brown sugar. Okay, so right off the bat, pretty poor start. Butter, sugar are the poster boys for added extra excessive calories. They're loaded with flavor, but basing anything off them, generally really bad from a health standpoint. Butter, even a tablespoon has 100 calories, sugar calories out of fast, so let's hope we don't see much more of this going forward or we're gonna be in for a rocky ride. And then a couple of teaspoons of cinnamon. That's a lot of butter, and that is a lot of sugar. I hope there's a recipe sheet for this so we can get the exact numbers, but wow. That, this is more than I would have liked to see for the whole recipe for a dessert, but cinnamon bun pancakes, I guess. Whew. Whisk this together. This is what we're gonna actually pipe into our pancakes when we put them in the pan. I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of water. It's gonna get a little thick, a little syrupy. And the cinnamon is cooking, it smells great here. I wanna keep stirring it because I don't want the cinnamon to clump up, or the sugar. And a couple of tablespoons of cream. When you're dealing with something that's just calorie sludge like butter and sugar is, and that actually kind of looks like sludge, I'm not just being a hater, look at it brown and gooey. The last thing you need to do is add cream, okay? Like, this is not even the pancake base. This is what's gonna be swirled on top of the pancakes, or at least part of what'll be swirled on the pancakes. So are you, is this cream even gonna be tasted? Like, I think it could really do without it, and, oh boy, not lo we're, we're on a slow and steady decline. And you really have to let this cool to use it. it. Smells good though. Okay, so we have a little bit of warm maple syrup. I'm gonna pour it right over some softened cream cheese. This is gonna create. <laughs> so you have a butter and sugar mixture and now there's what's being prepared as a cream cheese and maple syrup mixture. It's pretty much same stuff, different day right there, a fat base and a sugar base. Oh boy, this, this is escalating. This is, this is, my, my blood, my heart rate's starting to go up. Our cream cheese glaze or frosting, basically what you get on top of the cinnamon bun. And this you wanna whisk pretty vigorously so it gets nice and smooth. Okay, let's make some pancakes. Let's start with one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Before he goes into this pancake, let's just break down what we have on the table. We have a butter-sugar mixture to represent the cinnamon glaze. Fair enough, could have done without the cream. We have the maple syrup and cream cheese stuff that is meant to be the icing. Fair enough, cinnamon ones have icing. So what I would expect from this pancake, given these buttery, sugary concoctions that are gonna go on top, is that it's generally kind of light. I really don't think you need much sweetness here when you have something like this icing and the cinnamon stuff that are already just loaded. 
I mean loaded with calories and flavor. So let's hope this is lighter. The pancakes are a bit light. You know, I always have my recipes written down for batters and doughs, but you don't have to write them down because all you need to do is go to foodnetwork.com slash brunch and the recipes are right there for you. What a plug. One teaspoon of baking powder and a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Three tablespoons of sugar. A good pinch of salt. Mix these together. So far, not bad. I think three tablespoons of sugar too much, but that's not, that's not as aggressive or excessive as I was expecting. So, so far so good on the pancake batter. And then we're gonna get to our wet ingredients. A couple of eggs. Mm -hmm. One and a half cups of buttermilk. <laughs> One and a half cups, not of skim milk, not of normal milk, buttermilk. Editor's note, slow down cowboy. Buttermilk is just fermented whole milk. So the calories in both are basically the same. You could use regular milk, but I love the flavor of buttermilk, and also I think buttermilk makes for a more tender pancake. A little bit of vanilla extract. Three tablespoons of melted butter. Three tablespoons of melted butter. What is the point of using buttermilk if you're just gonna then go and use butter? Like, that is excess calories at its finest. Three tablespoons of butter is 300 calories. That little whoop. 300 calories for something that already just got a hundred, not a hundred, one and a half cups of buttermilk. That is reckless, reckless. Ugh. I mean, running out, I don't think I'm gonna have anything good to say about these at the end, but I'll, I'll stay open-minded to the best of my ability. The melted butter is gonna help make the pancakes a little golden brown on the outside. Now we're just going to fold the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients just until it forms a batter. Don't want to overmix them. Pancakes make me very happy. Such a good thing. Who doesn't like pancakes? I don't. Not when they have like all this junk that's about to go on it. I mean, this is more just like sugary fat blobs on his pancakes at this point with all the stuff that's gonna go on top of it. Goodness gracious. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my brown sugar and cinnamon mixture and put it into a pastry bag so that when I put my pancakes into the pan, I can actually swirl it right into the middle of the pancake. So you can see it's kind of thickened up as it's cooled. Lots of delicious goodness in here. Cinnamon, brown butter. That might taste good, but that still looks like sludge. Looks like poopy little sludge. Honest, it, doesn't even look that good right now. Comment down below if you disagree, but that looks like poop. Brown sugar and a little cream. Okay. Let's start making some pancakes. I'm gonna get some butter going in my pan. Butter in the pan when every last component of this has a very significant amount of fat. This is when you use the non-stick sprays at your disposal, when you're making something with all this fat in it, or making something with all these calories, because these, are these, these pan calories are the ones that really break the iceberg, really sink the ship, so. Hate to see that there's butter on the pan here. Absolutely, 100% unnecessary. So we're gonna put some pancake batter right into the pan. And they're gonna spread a little bit. Those cook for a second. I'm gonna take our cinnamon and brown sugar swirl and just swirl it right into the middle. So what we're gonna 
Say something nice about Bobby Flay. Those are some pretty swirls. I could not do that. Not even close. Props to him. Very, very artistic. Do is we're gonna let the uh, the pancakes cook on one side, get them nice, nice and crusty, and then we'll flip them over really quickly on the swirl side down, just to kind of cook the top of it. But for the most part, you're gonna cook them on one side, say like 80% on one side, flip them over for another 20% of the time, and then we'll be done. I slowed down the heat a little bit so that they actually cook through without getting too brown on the bottom side. At the same time, we don't want it to get too crusty here. Here we go, ready? Count to 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. At that point, until he flipped it, that side doesn't look great, but the golden brown side looks very good. I mean, it's aesthetic. Another nice thing there. They're beautiful. That side's not beautiful, are you kidding me? The other side was really nice. I mean, I'll, I'll let him finish, but I don't think the, the you know, the whiter, raw side looks that pretty at all. It's almost like you kind of slice the pancake in half and you reveal the cinnamon right there. Okay. We're gonna keep making some cinnamon bun pancake. No, you did not need more butter. Like, look at all that grease that's still on the pan from the, the previous ones. Like, come on, dude. Why? <laughs> Two pancakes and you're already putting more butter on the pan? Mindless. We made a pancake batter and we just swirled the, uh, the brown sugar and cinnamon mixture. Also, what the heck happened? Like those? Those look 10 times better than the other ones. Like these actually look well cooked in both sides. The other ones look like one side's raw and the other side was beautiful. These look incredible. Right into the pancake. Look how beautiful it is. Nicely caramelized, and it's actually part of the pancake, and it looks like a cinnamon bun, except it's a pancake. Who knew? Yeah, also, if you look at that tray, they totally just chucked the first ones he made. Those were so, the those looked so poorly done. All of those looked nice and brown on both the swirl side and the other side. Bobby just bamboozled us with that the first set of two. Let's give some of these a taste. Really beautiful. I'm gonna chop some pecans, some toasted pecans. Pecans, nuts. Remember, fat has more calories per gram than protein and carbs. So when you have those pecans that are mostly fat, you are adding a lot of calories to something which already has a needless amount of calories, a stupid amount of calories. And we haven't even added the icing yet, which was introduced with the maple syrup and ice cream cheese. And now we want to talk about pecans? Just like another two to 300 calories just in pecans? Like, are you serious? <sighs> I'm gonna take our maple and cream cheese glaze or sauce. And then a few of the Chop pecans. And let's get at it. Another thing I just noticed, it looked like the whole recipe only made six pancakes. Egregious, so offsides. Mm. You know, it really tastes like one of those glazed cinnamon buns with the cream cheese and the maple glaze on top of the bun itself. We have the cinnamon and the brown sugar running through that swirl. It's such a cool idea, and it's really beautiful too, and easy to do. Cool idea, sure. Beautiful, sure. But, oh my goodness, I, this was more irritating than fun to watch, honestly. So if we wanna talk about pros and cons, whether to determine whether Bobby Flay's pancakes put him in the calorie king realm or the calorie abuser, there's almost no argument to say he did anything reasonably. On the one hand, to his credit, it was fair enough for him to make cinnamon bun pancakes that include the pancake base, the cinnamon base, and the icing base. That's totally fine. What really irritated me was the lack of respect for the ingredients in those components. 
He knew the cinnamon sugary base had to be full of butter and sugar. He knew the icing had to be full of fat and syrup. So why he didn't take into account that when he was making the pancake batter or putting butter on the pan or while he was deciding to add pecans, those were such bad decisions from a calorie standpoint. I'm not happy with Bobby Flay. Uh, I'm gonna have to give him the Sebastian Cruz seal of disapproval if I go to other recipes of his and see the same level of calorie abuse. In fact, write this down. The next video we do, we're gonna find another Bobby Flay recipe and we're gonna see if we see the same consistent patterns of calorie recklessness because this is unacceptable. Even for a chef in the fine dining space, this was really, really, really bad. So yeah, fortunately I have to leave it at that. That's the video. Shout out for making it this far. Appreciate you watching. We had an awesome time. So thank you for taking part. If you like these videos, go ahead and smash that like button if you haven't already. Uh, comment if you want to see a specific chef. I'm going down the list of all the famous chefs and making sure I can at least get one recipe for each. And if you're not subscribed and you want to keep seeing these, please subscribe. It helps me out a ton. And we're going to take these to the moon. We, we're gonna show everyone the realities behind fine dining and calories and what the implications are, and we're all gonna get healthier. So it's a team effort. I appreciate the support. Thank you for tuning in. All right, see you guys next time. Take care until then.